Morning guys, um, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel, Let's Talk Leeds United. Um, well, what's happened to our frantic, rash football club who makes silly decisions? Um, today, this morning, we've actually done something cautious for a change. We've done something that shows that we're building for the future in the right, right way and we're, we're making the correct decisions and, and getting the, the things done that we want to get done and not what we need to get done, you know? Um, We've um, confirmed Nick Hammond as interim football advisor on a three-month contract. So basically what he will do is he will um, oversee the transfers, um, incomings and outgoings in the, in the summer months coming up, well now. And um, in the meantime, Leeds will work in the background to get someone who they want in long term, um, which I'm a big fan of. You know, we're all getting a bit impatient because the season's around the corner and, you know, we've still got a lot of, um, stuff to, to sort out but it's slowly getting there and you know this is a long-term game this isn't um you know you know we've got a whole a whole future ahead of us and and foot um directors of football don't get sacked like managers they don't get sold like players they're normally here for a long time and like look at Victor Orta he was here making horrible decisions for for a long long time okay be it he got the Bielsa one right I give him that but from then on, it was downhill. So we want to get someone in, you know, 49ers want to get someone in who they know that they want long term. Um, Nick Hammond had a similar role in Newcastle um, in, you know, in the January transfer window of 22. Um, they got him in whilst they was um, seeking someone who they wanted permanently. Um, and he overlooked the signings of Triple A, Bruno Gumarez, Dan Byrne and Chris Wood. So um, he's done it before on his temporary role. Um it's another domino that's fallen. It's another card that's been laid out on the table. We've got the ownership sorted and we've got um, a, a director of football, at least for the summer anyway. Um, it, says, it says that they're um, looking to um, get someone in permanent by sort of September, October time. Um, what this means for Stuart Webber, I don't know. Like, I feel like if Leeds really, 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 really wanted him, um, as soon as he said he was leaving Norwich, they could have got him. Gone and got him tomorrow. I know. I know they said about oh, he's going to stay until two thousand and twenty-four, or that's when his contract's up, or whatever. But surely, even from a Norwich point of view, you don't want someone at your club who doesn't want to be there. It's you know, it's different with a player because you can just bench him, but especially someone who's making such big football decisions. So, yeah, um, what it means to Stuart Webber, I don't know, but it's 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 another, like I said, it's another card laid on the table. We've now got a director of football, so. Best believe in the next few days, well, it's already happening. There's already um, people leaving and um, now we need to start seeing people arriving. But I don't think that will happen until we get a new manager, which I expect to happen probably over this weekend by, by the start of next week. Um, it, 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 it satisfies me that, like I said, that the 49ers are taking their time and not rushing this. You know, they look like smooth operators. They look like proper, professional, sensible, um, level-headed people who who are looking at the long-term goal and not just making a rash decision. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a major step forward because now we can really start um, getting people out the door and hopefully in the door. Um, talking to people going out the door, Tyler Roberts looks like he's joining Birmingham. Um, I think it's just on loan. Um, literally couldn't care less, no disrespect, but he's obviously no... Has, has no part in our future. And um, yesterday, the news broke that Robin Cox was talking to Man United. I, I, I'm baffled. I can't actually get my head over it. Like, why would Man United want Robin Cox? Like, I don't even want Robin Cox in the championship. I don't. I do not want him playing for us, even in the championship. So why, why do they want him? I mean, maybe in a better team, he might do better. But he looks like a, a timid nervous footballer for me and I, I I just can't see it working out there for him um you know there is a place for Robin Cox somewhere but I, f I feel like that's might be too much for him <laughs> I don't know he might prove me wrong and if he does then um fair play to him and also just a, uh, just a, my quick opinion on the um free golfers that are looking to invest I know people are unhappy about it because it's like becoming more and more people investing in it's like oh well who's going to do what and well, they're going to do nothing they're just investors right so they're going to put their money in and hope for a return and the, the, the thing is um they're only going to get a return if we get promoted basically 
you know, they're only going to make a, a good return on their investment if if we get back to the Premier League. So, in my opinion, it just shows that the 49ers are, um, have got big plans and they're and they're um, detailing that to these to these investors and who are who are getting on board with it. Uh, it can only expand the profile of our club and more money coming in and in. So I'm all for it, to be honest. Um, I don't I don't mind. They're not, they're not going to have anything to do with the football inside of things. Um, I watched one of the interviews this morning and um, one of them said that they, they've never even been to a football match. So, you know, they're not, they're not, they're just piling their money in. Yeah. And hoping for a return. And that, like I said, they only get a return if we do well and we succeed. So I'm all for it. Um, positive steps, uh, steps are being taken um, from this club. The 49ers look like so far, they look like they're, they're um, smooth operators and, you know, they, they do things with a bit of thought and, and not, um, being rash so um yes hopefully over this weekend we'll see more dominoes fall in new signings hopefully and well first of all we need to get a manager in place but things are on the up um less than two months to the season starts now less than a month till pre-season so things need to be on the up but i think that this is a step in the right direction this morning and well done to the 49ers for for taking your time and um you know looking at the long-term game and not just making rash decisions um, that's it for me, guys. Just a quick up, quick update. I uh, hope you have a good day. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.